in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. I know it's been quite a while. Um, so, I'm going to try and get back into making videos uh, on the daily again. Uh, the schedule is um, Mondays and Tuesdays we'll be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Wednesdays and Thursdays we'll be playing American Truck Simulator. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be FS19. Um, and that schedule will be in the description of every video as well, uh, along with the times that the videos will come out and whether that is, you know, and for me, it is central time that the videos will be coming out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into it here. I got car mechanic loading up right now. Um, I've been playing this for quite a while. We're just going to play off of the profile that I currently have. I'm not going to make a new profile or anything. Um. We're just going to roll with the one that we got here. <laughs> got him. Alright, so... Ooh, I was going to show you what we got going on here. This car right here is uh, my personal car. Uh, this is the second car that I have bought that I will be fixing up and probably selling again just like the other one. I can see that we are missing some parts. Um, like we're missing the air filter cover. Um, but I bought this out of a barn. So we'll be fixing that up here eventually. Oof. Be uh, redoing the entire car. Right here I have a customer car that I am working on. Uh, we're basically rebuilding the entire car. I have bought every single part that this car needs uh, both the things that it wants me to replace along with many many others I'm basically just rebuilding the car from start to finish um, I do see that I need to maybe turn down my settings here or something uh, da, da, da. I know there's a button for that nope not inventory nope Hmm. I know there was a button. Anyhow, uh, we might have to just return to the main menu. I'll just do it without saving because I'll need to save. I haven't really done anything yet. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get this car put back together. That is the uh, plan here. So we're going to go settings. We're going to go first audio settings. Turn it down a little bit more. We'll go to 20. And we'll go back and we'll go game settings. No, that would be video settings here. Uh, we're going to go to. See, I was on high, so we're going to go to medium. And maybe turning the, uh, maybe turning down my thing will help making that quite so leggy running the game. Go for mom's head, baby. While we're waiting for this to load up here, I'm going to go ahead and quick throw my dip in. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start putting this car back together. Yeah, turning the settings down a little bit did help, kind of. Okay, so I think I'm going to start towards the back of the car here. Click on the rear muffler and kind of get myself back here. We're going to go ahead and start with this rear axle. Got a new axle. Holy smokes. I'm really lagging here.
And actually, before we get too far into this car, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get our springs put together. Because we want to go ahead and get our springs and our tires. Because I have four brand new wheels and tires that need to all be put together. Along with the two front shocks. And we'll get them balanced. So when we look at the car here, uh, the original complaint is, Good afternoon, I had a small accident on the expressway. An 18-wheeler pushed me off the road. I know that the car does not look so great anymore, but I cannot afford everything else right now. I just need it to run. And then repair or replace body parts. It's missing the right headlight, the front right door, the rear right door, front right fender, rear right, rear right door window, the front right door window, and then the right side mirror. Like I said, I have literally stripped everything off of this car. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have the license plates for this. I'm hoping I still have the license plates for this. I may have actually sold them. Whoops. I guess that'll be alright. So I'll go ahead and put another tire on there. Take this one off of the balancer. Throw that one on. I just want to get everything set up so that way once we get started on oops, once we get started on this car we can just get rolling. We don't have to be stopping to do the tires or stopping to do the shocks, anything like that. The balancer does take a little time though, that's one thing that's kind of annoying. But I mean the balancer does take some time in real life as well. I have mounted and balanced many, many tires. Let's see what kind of jobs there are here. Lack of engine power, replace all filters, play, repair all engine faults, repair all running gear faults, knocking sound from the suspension, cars hard to control, brake problems. Uh, wow. Gears keep slipping, gearbox shifts rough. That's kind of a neat car. Hmm. A lot of jobs there, but. None of which will be taken on. And I think actually we might just put this car back in our parking garage. Then we could actually take on another job if we wanted to. This one looks like brakes. Maybe tie rods. Loud exhaust. Hmm. Well, I think we'll just focus on this one car for now. Alright, let's go back to putting this guy back together. Part mount. Get our rear axle in. Get our drum wheel cylinder in here because this has drum brakes in the rear. Our drum on, and then we can go ahead and throw our tire on. Alright, and then that side's done. We'll go ahead and get our fuel tank thrown in here. And our fuel pump. And then we'll switch over to the other side and get our. Oops, wait, I wasn't actually done on this side, that's right. Forget that there's some other pieces on this side. So we gotta get our control arm in here and our bushing in it. And then we gotta add our leaf spring plate along with the U bolts for that. Alright, now we got this side done. Now we can switch on over to the other side here. shock in. We'll get our spring cap and our spring. And then the cap for that. And then we'll get our control arms run on. Get the bushing put in it. 
And we'll get our plate. And then our U-bolts. Alright, now we can go ahead and get the rest of this axle done. Actually, go to the back here and get these tightened up. Make it a little realistic, I guess. All right, so we got the back finished up. We'll go ahead and start putting our exhaust in. Not quite how I wanted to have my view, but all right. I'm probably doing this wrong. Well, I am doing this wrong, I'll tell you that much. Because of the way I'm putting it in, but it is just a game, so we'll be fine. We'll get our exhaust pipes put on here. All right. That's what we can do from here right now. We'll go ahead and bring the car down and get we'll get then we'll get the engine block put in. And then we'll go ahead and go we'll get some of this stuff put together up top as well while we're up here. Get our ignition coil. We got our fuel filter here. Get our battery in, and our radiator in, and we'll go ahead and jump back under the car here, I think. Yeah, we'll jump back under and we'll get uh, our crankshaft and some other stuff put in. Switch back to part mount here. Get our crankshaft put in. Oops. Then we'll get its bearing caps put on. That stays up there. And we'll go ahead and add our clutch parts and get our drive sh or our gearbox put in and our drive shaft. So we'll start off here with the flywheel. We'll get our clutch plate and then our clutch pressure plate. Get that bolted in. Get our bearing put in and then we'll go ahead and throw the gearbox in. And then we'll get the starter. And then we'll go ahead and get the drive shaft put on. back down so we can get our uh, pistons put in so that way we can finish up underneath of the car and we'll be able to spend the rest of the time up top getting the engine put back together I've been playing a lot of this game lately. I kind of enjoy it, especially because I work on cars, so it's just kind of a fun thing to do. All right, we'll go back under, get our oil pan and whatnot added. And we gotta get all the rod caps put on first.
Because there are eight of them to get put on so we can put our oil pan on and our oil filter. I'll actually do the oil filter while we're right here. front suspension drawn together once we uh, get this oil pan on. Alright, now we can go ahead and throw our suspension on. We'll uh, throw all the bearings in it, or the bushings I should say. That way that part's done. Mm, let's see. Just select that bearing over there. Or bushing, sorry. I keep wanting to call them bearings. Alright, and then we'll get our sway bar our steering rack and our sway bar put in. And then we'll start putting this side together. shock in. We'll get our sway bar front end link on. And we'll get our upper suspension arm. Alright, and then we'll get our axle co axle knuckle cover on and our hub. Wheel hub bearing, our wheel hub cap, and then our brake disc, and then we'll get the pads, and our caliper, get that bolted in, and then we can throw this tire on. And then this side's good to go. Hop over to this side and get everything put together over here. Get our bottom suspension arm. I'm pretty sure I've got all the parts that we need. I'm hoping that we have all the parts. I have had that happen before where I'm missing parts and I have to go back and redo it or go back and buy them. Okay, so we can start getting our, getting towards getting our wheel on. Get our bearing in and our cap. I had spent, I have quite a, mon a lot of money spent on the parts for this car, so hopefully it's a decent payout. Alright, I think we're done underneath of the car. We'll go ahead and bring it all the way down and drop the hoist. And we'll start getting everything put together up here. this side of the engine head here. I 
I do plan on getting a couple DLCs for this game as well. At some point. Uh, I want to get like some of the American car DLCs for it. Get all these push rods put in so we can get our rockers installed. There are rocker arms, I should say. Last one on this side. We'll get our cover. Oops, I didn't buy the covers. Engine head cover B. I might have bought the wrong ones. So we need engine head cover B. Will be this one right here, and we need two of them. Oh, it's got on the double. It's got okay. the double on the double. Yes, baby. It's got the double on the double. It's got the double on the double. It's got the double on the double. this side and we'll get our manifold put on yes monkey mm-hmm all right now we'll jump on over to the other side here well actually we'll get our manifold installed first don't dump them all out Our carb installed. And we'll go ahead and get our air filter installed right away too. And we'll jump down here and get all of the same stuff done on this side. Getting all of our Oops, push rods installed. <clears throat> Oops. I just want to double check, make sure I'm still recording. I am. Okay, so we got all of them in, so we can go ahead and get our rocker arms installed. Get our spark plugs put in. Alright, get our manifold on. Alright, so those are all on and good to go. To get our distributor put on here, where that's at again. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and we'll throw the alternator in. Get 
get our camshaft in so we can put our timing back together. Oh, there's your distributor cap. That's right. I gotta put this together first. Kind of forgot how everything went together. Alright, we'll get our ignition distributor throughout the rotor and then the cap. We'll get our clips put on that hold that down. And then get our wires. And that's all good to go. We'll get our water pump. And then our crankshaft pulley. Get our water pump pulley on. We'll go over here, get our power steering in. We can get one belt on. Oops. And then our other serpentine belt. Get our fan. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's everything. I'll go ahead and go back in here. We'll fill our oil. I usually just do it till it starts coming out because you can't really tell otherwise. Okay, and we'll just check our dipstick here. Yep, we're full. Okay, I think we can start putting our car back together. Get our hood on, get our fender, get our right headlight. Left headlight, front bumper, this fender, get our windshield in, this door, then we got our glass for the door, our mirror, get our rear window in, get our trunk get our tail lights and our rear bumper this door and the glass for it and then we should just have this door and the glass and mirror and we should have everything put together on this car I'll check our inventory and see what's in here yep I did buy the wrong covers I think everything's done on this car now. We'll send it over to our test path. We'll go on in here and uh, check it out. Make sure everything's a okay with this car. Okay. So we'll begin the test. Okay, brakes are good. Check our suspension here. Okay, everything's good there on the front suspension. Now we'll check the rear. And our test is everything looks good um, okay I'll go over here and we'll check out what's over here uh, this is actually the first test testing that I've done oh, okay so these are all just okay so we'll go ahead and we should be good to go with the car 
I'm gonna pay us a total of seven thousand dollars. I spent three thousand on the car, so. Oh, okay. So we have to buy the license plates. So we'll go ahead and get those. <clears throat> just get some blank ones or something. I think I can just get a blank license plate. We'll do... Alright, we'll just go ahead and do a North Dakota license plate, because that's the state I live in. Let's get two blank ones. Oops, that's why I'm still in disassemble mode. I want to be in assemble mode. There we go. Now we got license plates on it. Now we should be able to complete the car. And there we go. There's a good seven grand. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll uh, get another car for the next one here. And uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Let's see first if we got any point. Nope, we have no skill points that we can use, so... can't do any upgrading so guys that's going to do it for this episode if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure you subscribe if you like what you see and uh, be sure to check out all my other videos and uh, be on the lookout for the next video thanks for watching you guys see you in the next video